Impact segment tonight, President Obama asking Congress to give him formal authority to use the U.S. military against the ISIS terror killers. And just in time, a new Fox News poll says just 19 percent, 19 percent believe the Obama administration has an effective strategy to fight ISIS. Also, an update on the Bolberg Dahl investigation. Join us now from Orlando, Florida, Fox News military analyst Colonel David Hunt. Washington, Lieutenant Colonel Tony Schaefer has been our point coverage for Bo Bergdahl. All right, yes, what's sir. the latest on the Bergdahl investigation, Colonel Schaefer? Latest word is we're looking at a mid-March uh, decision and within mid-March a announcement of that decision. And Bill, there's, this is a complicated issue in that you have the White House, and I saw David Axelrod's comments that I, David is completely misinformed. The president and company knew exactly about Bo Bergdahl's status before they entered into the deal regarding the Taliban. With, with that said, the Pentagon, the White House, and the Bergdahl defense team are all trying to kind of push their way through this, trying to gain advantage. So what you're seeing here, a lot of this is each side, all sides, trying to basically one up the other for purposes of and that's trying why to win I, the argument. I'm sure you noticed that I told David Axelrod that, that they had to know that right. he was a deserter when they made the deal. So we corrected right. the record there. And the second yes, thing sir. is, uh, it looks to me like uh, they're trying to figure out how to sell this to the American public so it doesn't damage President Obama. That's what it's all about, is it not? That's what the White House is doing, and, and, and I, I, I can tell you from talking to the Pentagon directly about this, Dave, uh, uh, Bill, is that, and I think Dave will, will back me up on this, the Pentagon is trying to do what it can. The Army's trying to do what it can to be honest. All the pressure here, Bill, is coming from the White House. Let's be right. very clear about that. All right. You uh, concur, Colonel Hunt? No. I, this is a four-star general who's got paper now on his desk for two and a half, three months. This is a decision he has to make. And then, they're, and then they decide whether it's going to be a court martial or not. So all the pressure, it, it, this is a combat veteran, four-star general. Millie. This is the second investigation. He has to make a decision. Uh, the white, some, he, if he takes the phone calls, he should not. There's a thing called command influence. This is, this is inexplicable that this is taking this long. Yeah, that's right. But you don't, you don't disagree with, with Colonel Schaefer. You're both on the same side, that politics has intruded. But now at least uh, Colonel Schaefer says that mid-March is when we'll know. All right, now, President Obama asking Congress for permission to do what, Colonel Hunt? I'm not exactly sure what he's doing here. He wants an extension of the War Powers Act. He wants to have it both ways, increase the war or decrease it. He wants, and he wants politically, Congress, to do what they haven't done for six months since we've been bombing ISIS, to make a decision, to go on the record. We are leading the world we have for 14 years in this war on terror. The problem is ISIS, and we can't get anybody to say boots on the ground, we will not be able to do, have any success just bombing. And everybody knows in the Middle East, we're going to have to help. So the problem, what he wants, is people to say it with a vote. And he wants the power to do what he wants as president. It's so not he unreasonable wants, either way. He wants Congress to say, yeah, you can put ground troops in there if you want to. But there's a, there's a little clause in there that says, uh, Colonel Schaefer, no enduring uh, ground presence, which means you can't right. occupy. But, but you know, I, I, there's a good silver lining to this story. Um, when I was interviewing David Axelrod on Monday, he was trying to tell me that the strategy the Obama administration currently has to defeat ISIS is a good one. We all know that's garbage. It's a terrible yeah, one. It's awful because, it, it, you know, we're going to bomb them and train five guys from Syria in Saudi Arabia to come over and make right. lunch. Okay. Now, 19% of Americans know it. They know this is a big charade. It isn't working. They're tired of seeing Americans like that poor girl yesterday killed by these savages, and they want something done. That's the good news on this. Go, Colonel Schaefer. Well, look, we've got to do things effectively. Today, his comments, Bill, were terrible. He said, he, this is what he said. He said, we're going to do this deliberately. Bill, that's code for slow rolling it. Yeah. I talked to my Special Operations Command friends. Bill, there's whole pieces of Special Operations Command being held back. This is the time they should be at the front doing stuff. This is totally insane. And plus, there is a road to ground troops. 
the Kurds are doing a great job. They won Kobani without virtually no help from us. And we need to get in the, the Egyptians and the Jordanians who are truly on our side to be the ground forces we need to use. There's a path forward bill. We have it on our website, London Center website, but we can do this. It's just they don't have a clue on how to do it. Congress wants them to come up with a plan, and this, this well, administration Well, the pressure is not. becoming unrelenting, and we understand there's one right. other American being held by ISIS, and if they kill that person, I mean, the pressure, everybody's getting it now. You can't just let these savages, Colonel right. Hunt, sit there in Mosul, sit there in Raqqa. You got to go get them. Now, if it's Egyptians, okay. fine. If it's Jordanians, fine. But who's going to organize that? It has to be organized by the USA. Last word, Colonel Hunt. Yeah, it, it, of course, it has to be supported logistically, intelligence, command and control. But there has to be more than just killing them. We've been doing it for 26 years. Right. I get we want to go and kill ISIS. But when they go into Syria, we've got to have a plan and a strategy that takes not just the killing. An end state. That has end not state. worked. It has to be total. And All we're right. not, I don't think we're equipped for it. We're not, I don't think we're That's ready right. for a total uh, effort. I think that if we routed ISIS, the other plan might be able to come together. But there is some urgency for the situation, in my humble opinion. Gentlemen, thanks very much. Yes, sir. Plenty more as a factor moves along this evening. Dr. Ben Carson's reaction being labeled an extremist by the Southern Poverty Law Center. Doctor will be here. And Miller on Brian Williams and an unbelievable interview on MSNBC with Eric Holder. We hope to stay tuned for those reports.